Now as a presenter of the Eurovision song. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> We are inside the Mediterranean Conference Center and we are doing some interviews with the artists that are competing at the national final of the Eurovision Song Contest in Malta. And next to me is a veteran, if I might call you like this, Georgina. Of course. That means I've got a lot of experience. Indeed. So, so. <laughs> it's good to see you. Very lovely to see you. You bring back very nice mem memories to me. In which way? In which way? Because we met two years ago. And uh, obviously, when I see people like you interviewing, I always go to the Eurovision, and I love Eurovision. But you've been there quite a number of times, no? Yes, four times now. In uh, uh, 1991, with Paul Jordan, I had a song was called Could It Be? And then in 92, as a composer, Little Child, with, of Mary Spiteri. You wrote that? Yes. Oh, I have to give you a big hug for that one. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. I love this. I really love this song. It's very nice. Thank you very much. And then in 1996 with Miriam Christine Borch with the song In a Woman's Heart. Mm -hmm. And then in 2001 with another summer night by Fabrizio Faniello, I was the author. Wow. Wow. Yes. This is a, a lot of Eurovision Memories. history, memories yes, of there. Yes. Now this time you're back in the national final of yes. the Maltese. Yes. Uh, Obviously not as a, uh, the main singer, but I'm doing backing vocals with uh, Anna Party, who is a very great singer, and uh, we've got a good song. Tell us about this song. This song is, uh, for me, I think it's a style, 70s style, 70s, 80s style, and obviously that's my time, so mm -hmm. I'm loving it all the way. And besides me, there's also my son taking part As well. in two songs. Yes. Wow. That's which news. Songs? That's news. That's, Let me that. tell you which songs. Well, his name is Ryan, and he's uh, the bass player and lead uh, vocals as well in Wayne's song. I don't know what it's, what it's, it's called. Wayne, Wayne and Richard. Okay. Wayne Michalef and Richard. It's, uh... it's uh, accompanying Wayne and Richard as the, the bass player and the, and the vocalist. So you, you have inherited the, your musical talents to your family as well, well, to your son. I didn't push him, but he wanted music by himself, so that's, that's good. Excellent. And uh, are there any plans that you are coming back to Eurovision as a main singer? Please. As long as they keep do, doing backing vocals live here in Malta, because they just started them this year, mm -hmm. because we never was live backing vocals, I will not enter as a, a main singer because everybody talks to me when I'm backing vocals mm. so I, I love it you know everybody talks to me when you're main singer everybody is a bit you know so I try and secondly I think that people after Kiara coming last mm -hmm. I don't think they will send us who already went you know yeah, yeah. And uh, Eurovision Song Contest 1991, where you were on the stage. Can you tell us a bit of, about the memories you have from that year? In 1991, mm -hmm. where well, being a singer is lovely in the Eurovision Song Contest. But you've got a lot of pressure, a lot of... Uh, uh, not from the Eurovision, but from Malta. It's a lot of pressure on the, on the singer, because, you know, photos... Uh, you've got lots of, loads of things to do, you know, hair. Being as a backing vocalist, you still have these things, but less pressure. So, mm -hmm. but I have beautiful memories because I met a lot of lovely people like you. Oh, that's really kind. Thank you very and much. And we did a lot of contacts, and I've never looked back from Eurovision till now. Thank God, I've never looked back. My career went from here to here. Excellent. So, Excellent. so um, are you still recording music apart from Eurovision? Oh yes, I'm still. I'm still. Uh, in music here in Malta. I'm still, I'm still in demand, thank God. <laughs> no, I'm not, I can't complain. So, so okay. what, are you recording, releasing an album that, which people no, can buy? No, or? no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not looking to become famous now at my age. I, I just love singing, I just love to be with young singers, you know, and helping them out. Mm -hmm. I love it. And the atmosphere is beautiful. I feel young. What, with young people you feel young. So that's my main thing, that I feel young. You have a lot of experience at Eurovision. You have been, been there yes. four times as, as, as a composer, yes. author, lyricist, yes. and singer. And that's the reason I don't, uh, I don't put in a, in a song. Because I can go in as an author, I can go in as a composer, I can go in as a backing vocalist, and for me that's enough. Let's give a chance to the young ones now. But, 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 
what do you actually prefer, singing as a main singer or the backing vocalist? Or Obviously, the main, main singer. The main singer. Obviously. Okay. But now I think uh, our time sort of. I don't think it's. But Malta here, they don't want to see previous uh, Eurovision singers. I don't think the people would want us mm. to be. And we can feel that. So you're kind of supporting the new younger I'm artists? I'm supporting the younger artists, and if they need my help, I'm there. Fantastic. As, as long as I take part, even with, with a broom, mm -hmm. you know, in the festival. <laughs> as long as I'm there, I'm happy. Fantastic. Georgina, thank you very much. Thank Good you. luck for, for your entry. Thank you very to, much. You're going to sing thank as you. Yes. today. And great to meet you again. Same here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you.